Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Dirk here from HA Photography. I'm really glad that you're here with us today. And I want to thank the Vancouver Island Regional Library for asking me to be a part of this fun and exciting project. And I also want to thank you for being here today. Okay, so in today's module, we're going to be discussing uh, light and specifically uh, light that you want to use to photograph people. Uh, we're going to be talking uh, about four tips that you can use right away to improve your images. We'll be talking about how to get people out of direct sunlight, how to photograph them so you have nice, bright, even light on their face, and we'll talk about window light, which is my favorite light of all, and we're also going to talk about the best time of day to be photographing. So we'll be covering those four topics today. So I know uh, from uh, photographing for many years, one of the biggest challenges I have, uh, which may sound odd, but is actually photographing people when it is really bright and sunny out. Um, it, uh, it makes people squint, it can sometimes put really harsh light on their face, and people are uncomfortable because it's hot and they're sweating, and it can be a bit of a challenge. So over the years, I've come up with uh, some tips and uh, one of the things I look for when I'm photographing people is to find some shade. And you can see in this first photo here that I've got of uh, this lovely couple on uh, wedding day, uh, we were at a golf course, there was only this little bit of shade and I said, let's, let's do the photos over here. And you can see they've got nice even lighting on their face and um, they're not sweating. They actually look happy and comfortable and uh, they're not squinting or have strange harsh shadows. This next example is also of a wedding day with uh, some gals and you can see just behind them there's a bright patch of sunlight and all I had to do was just ask them to come forward a bit so they were out of that big batch of patch of sunlight. Uh, again we'll notice we've got nice even lighting on their faces, uh, they're not squinting, there's no harsh shadows or harsh light hitting their face and, uh, and everyone's having a good time. This next sample is also um, taken in an area where there was no direct sunlight on them. There was a large overhanging tree and uh, the shade provided nice even lighting for this lovely couple. This next sample is a group photo and uh, we ha I had to photograph them and it was again a very bright sunny day but we happened to be beside a building and there was this nice big sort of shadow that was cast over and I had everyone in there and particularly when uh, you're wearing suits on a hot summer day that can be a kind of uncomfortable being in the sun and again I put them all in the shade and again you'll notice there's nice even lighting nobody's squinting and everyone is comfortable. And this last example here, this was a gentleman's 100th birthday and uh, it was really tough to find a spot that we could photograph all these, uh, these gentlemen in. Uh, there was this little overhang and uh, we worked really hard to get everybody in there. Uh, and it worked out really well because again, you'll notice everyone's comfortable, there's good even light on everyone's faces and uh, no one has to deal with the, the challenges of photographing someone in direct sunlight. Okay, so what if you're in a situation where there is no shade? Maybe you're out in a big field somewhere or on a beach and there is, uh, and you don't have an opportunity to photograph uh, at the time that you want. Uh, so uh, what do you do? You want to have nice even light on someone's face? Well, the simplest thing to do is to have your subjects turn their backs towards the sun. Now this might seem a little counterintuitive, but uh, what it does uh, is it puts again nice even lighting on uh, on the people's faces and uh, this first example here of these three sisters uh, at the beach there was absolutely no shade anywhere and so I just had their backs to the sun. Now something you may need to uh, consider um, you want to have make sure that your camera has a lens hood on it um, so that uh, we don't want direct sunlight coming into the lens. Uh, that usually doesn't work out well uh, but we can discuss that a little bit further in the coming photographs. But so have a lens shade or sometimes you can use, you know, you could, the sun was coming, you could kind of shade your, you kind of get the idea. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, this next example. 
Um, and here I go. I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually shooting right into the sun. And, and in this family photo, um, I had their backs to the sun, and I actually had the sunlight just peeking through the shoulder because I thought it might be uh, a nice effect. But the important thing to consider is that we've got nice, even lighting on uh, on these people's faces. Here's another example where there was no shade available. We've got these two sisters uh, out picking their vegetables and uh, we're in an open field. There was no shade available. And so I had them turn their backs to the sun. Now what you'll notice too in this case, um, it does more than just make for even lighting on the face. Uh, you'll see that their hair is nicely lit up and it also provides a nice sort of rim lighting along their shoulders and it outlines them. And I think it's a really lovely feature to have um, and again, you're avoiding squinting eyes or strange shadows or harsh light hitting the face by having your clients turn their backs to the sun. Here's another example where some boys are out playing basketball. It was a nice little impromptu moment. And uh, I just had their backs. It was a real quick photo. There was no time to look for shade. I just had them turn their backs to the sun. And, uh, and again, you can see that the, uh, the hair is nicely lit up and their shoulders are nicely lit up. And again, most importantly, nice even light on the face. And our last example here, uh, another family photo and uh, the sun was just starting to set. Uh, and we, uh, I just had again their backs turned to the sun to get that nice even lighting and this nice sort of bright background uh, behind them, which, which I think worked out really well. So tip number two basically, if you don't have an opportunity to take someone out of direct sunlight, turn their backs to the sun. Make sure you have a lens hood on or use something to cover the lens so that uh, direct sunlight doesn't come to your, uh, to your lens and uh, you'll notice your subjects will be in nice even lighting and they'll be happy for it. So here's my third tip and this is a really big one for me. Um, when I have my clients calling me to do a family portrait, one of the things that I outline to them uh, that is really important is that we begin the photo session about an hour and a half before the sun sets. And why is this important to me? Well, to me, I have discovered that there is a beautiful glow that happens at that time of the evening. Uh, what really happens is the sun is no longer the main direct source of light, but the open sky is. And what this does, it creates a beautiful glow, nice even lighting, warm tones on the face, and it also makes my job much easier. You know, we as photographers, when we're photographing people, have lots to think about. We have to think about the composition. We have to say things to make our clients smile. We have to think about the technical things and make sure there's not something growing out of someone's head. We have lots going on. So I know for myself, if I can have my situation where the lighting is really good and even and easy to work with and easy being big, that's what I aim for. So I tell my clients, let's meet about an hour and a half before the sun sets. Here's some examples of that. This first photo we have is of a lovely family and uh, here the main source of light is not the direct sunlight, but the open sky. You can see the nice warm tones on people's faces and, uh, and it's even lighting throughout. This next example is family of five. Again, also taken about an hour and a half before the sunset. And there's lots of flexibility in where I can photograph because there isn't going to be shadows if they turn a certain way. I absolutely love this. I think this is really huge for me. And this next one here, even though the sun is behind them, the main source of light or the biggest source of light was the open sky. And uh, you'll notice how, how nicely lit the faces are. This next example, again, this large family out at Piper's Lagoon, and uh, the sun was just about setting, it's behind them, but again, the main source of light is that big open sky. I love it, I think it just makes for lovely photographs. And uh, here's the same family just with, uh, with only five members, and again, also taken at that same time. So if you're planning a photo shoot uh, with friends or family, um, check, the, check the, to see what time the sun sets and plan to start about an hour and a half before the sun sets. It makes for great photographs and I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised with the results from it. Give that a go. Okay, my last tip today about light is also one of my favorites, uh, and it's window light. Um, 
what I love about Window Light is just how it wraps around the subject and uh, it's always available. And the only thing that I usually look for when dealing with Window Light is that it be indirect uh, light. So meaning that sunlight isn't coming directly through the window. It, uh, it's shining outside, but it's not coming directly through. Um, and uh, there's so many people who love photographing in Window Light. And it's funny how a lot of photographers want to make their studio light look like window light when really all they need to do is just go find a window. But here are some examples I've taken. This was a, a groomsman just before he was about to get married. Uh, we're in Vancouver and uh, there were windows all around but uh, you can see the lovely light on his face and uh, how it uh, features his face. Uh, this next shot of the bride, I had her pull up by the window and, uh, and just again that gorgeous soft wrap, wrapping light around someone. I just love it. And uh, this next um, image is also of a bride uh, looking out the window. I just had a little higher approach on this. But you can see how, how it defines the person so lovely, so well, pardon me. And uh, it's such an easy light to also photograph. Here's a, uh, a lovely family photo of a girl and a dog. And uh, again, a window off to our left here when you see it, um, makes for easy light to work with. And our final image here is this gal who is a dance instructor, nice big windows beside her. I just pulled her off a bit um, uh, so the light wasn't too harsh on her and it makes for beautiful photographs. So, um, you know, um, a great story that I have about window light is I recall photographing a wedding one time and it was just pouring rain. And, uh, and we had to take uh, our formal photographs inside and they had this huge, beautiful window. And the images I captured from that were so special to me and the couple. Uh, and it was all in due to part this lovely light that the window had there. So pick up your camera and, uh, and grab, grab someone you love and take some pictures of them and use the window as your source of light and see what sort of results you get from that. So today we talked about light. We talked about how to use light to photograph people. We talked about some of the challenges about photographing people in bright sunlight. And we gave you some tips on how to work with that. So you can either find some shade, and if the shade is not an option, perhaps you can just turn your subject around and have their backs to the sun. We also talked about working in evening light, my favorite light of all. It is so easy to work with and looks so flattering on your clients. And I usually start that about an hour and a half before the sun sets. We also talked about working with window light and what a lovely light that is. So I encourage you to pick up your camera, grab a friend, grab a family member, and go try out these different options for lighting using outdoor light, indirect sunlight, window light, and evening light. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you again soon. It's Dirk from HA Photography. Bye for now.